So, you're doing a Gen 5 swap in a classic car, you're figuring out the EFI system on it, and you're wondering why they keep asking if you have a 3-pin or a 4-pin fuel rail pressure sensor. My name is Nick with Scog and Dickey. Today's technical video, we're going to be covering the fuel pressure sensor on the Gen 5 LT-based engines. This covers the 5.3 L83 and L84, the L86 6.2, LT1, LT4, LT5, the lot. It's actually very simple, but it is very important that you get it right. So I have a couple harnesses in my hands here. I have a couple sensors here to show you. And of course, we have one of our LT1 Pro Charge engines on display. We're using this as a bit of a de demonstration for you. This one has the four pin sensor on the back. There are a couple fuel pressure sensors on Gen 5 LTs. When they ask this question, when Holly, if you're picking out a new Terminator X they just came out with for the direct injected engines, or Chevrolet Performance when they're asking for which engine you have with your connecting cruise package, it is the sensor on the rail they're asking about. It is not the one on the fuel line. So, very simply, the four wire, the four pin sensor is the old style analog sensor. They used it from 2014 to 2016. They used it on trucks, Camaros, um, Corvettes, even CTSVs, LT1s, LT4s, and of course 5.3s and 6.2 truck engines. In 2017, across the board, they did go to the three pin sensor. This is a digital sensor. It is slightly more accurate is the reason that GM went to it. So it is a benefit that they did go to this in the 2017 and newer vehicles. You can swap these out. So if you went to the junkyard and you picked out a 5.3 or a 6.2 and you're trying to find a way to control it and you have a four pin sensor and the controller you have needs a three pin sensor, it is changeable. We'll be giving you the part numbers on the sensors and the harness. You do need to change the harness. Don't try to repin it. Don't try to find a shortcut away around this. Um, these are relatively inexpensive, brand new from GM. They are the same, of course, for cars and trucks and the CTSV and the VET and the Z06. They're the same. So this keeps it pretty cut and dry, pretty simple. You'll notice that there's some extra plugs on them. That's because it, it does the sensor as well as the driver's side bank of fuel injectors. So it is important that you change this, and it's also important you don't mix it up. It's gonna be hard to see, but the connectors are exactly the same. So you can plug in a module kit, a controller kit for a three pin into a four pin or vice versa and cause a lot of issues and a lot of trouble. One of the great benefits about the Gen 5 LTs here is how technologically advanced they have become over the years but that means we need to pay extra special attention when we're wiring one up. We've gotten a lot of phone calls about this. We'd like to thank a handful of our customers that have been calling and asking, and of course one of them finally poked me to make a video about it. And he's right, this can get a little confusing. We've had a lot of people think it's a sensor down by the fuel rail or back you know, in the uh, control module near the fuel pump. It's not, it is the one here on the fuel rail. The threads on the sensors are the same even though they are a little bit different color they might look a little bit different they are the same and they do have the same seat angle where they seal on to the fuel rail they don't use a gasket it is a tapered seat so that way you can put this on high pressure fuel rails this style fitting and gm only recommends a 24 pound feet of torque installation torque spec so that's pretty good too so you don't have to get crazy when trying to torque this thing down it doesn't need it 24 foot pounds you'll be sealed up and leak free. Once again, we appreciate you stopping by for one of our weekly tech videos. We know this one was a little bit special, a little bit specific, but it's actually been a big question and the cause of a lot of confusion. There's gonna be a lot of LT controllers as these engines become more and more popular, especially all you guys grabbing cheap ones in the junkyard, start boosting them and swapping them into classic cars like we've heard. So we know that you guys are gonna be asking more and more of these questions. So. Take a look at sdparts.com for these parts if you need to swap one over. We appreciate you guys stopping by this week. Next week is Thanksgiving. Happy future Thanksgiving to all you guys. We will not be here. We're going to go hang out with our families just like you. Have great holidays. We'll see you the following Friday. Have a good one.